My name is Rashida Ismaili Abu Bakr, but I use Ismaili most of the time. Um, and I'm one of the I'm one of the founding uh, members. Uh, I'm the treasurer, so I'm on the executive on the board of Yari Yari of uh, OA. And um, we have uh, we have had uh, two very successful conferences, primarily ab um, uh, about an, um, African women of African descent. Um, we felt that it was very important to have a specific organization that just deals with women of African descent as writers, because we are not we are not. We are not specifically dealt with very often. Very often, we are um, we we may be included in a in a program, but we are not a whole a whole program focused entirely on us. And and we we thought that we have a significant um, history and contribution to to literature, so that we we we, we felt that 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 it was time. So when so we had the first one, we. we we, we planned for it at least three years. Just every day, every week, we would get together and we would put things together. We would say, okay, well, maybe uh, maybe we should do, maybe we'll have this person, maybe we'll have that person. And then two weeks later, we'd say, we'd say, well, maybe this person instead of that person. So we went through the list of looking at who the writers were were, where they were, and the kind of works that they were doing. So it wasn't just, so then finally we started to, 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 to weed, weed it down so that it was, it was, it was, it, we were sh actually shaping the conference mm -hmm. by selecting women from all genre, from, from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and we were also expanding the notion of, 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 of communication. That is that we were now looking at maybe the visual arts as, 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 a, as a tool of communication. It has its own language it, and, it, and, and while it may not be literal in a sense of verbiage, it, it is literal in its presentation. So we, we then started to add um, artists, visual artists. And so we had a significant amount of artists and a lot of those artists were, were, from, were from Africa itself, herself. And then finally uh, came the time to put it all together. And um, I must say that we had very, very few cancellations. The only cancellations that I could say that we really had that were significant were often those people who had visa problems that they were beyond the, beyond the control of, of, of the individual, but nobody didn't didn't uh, participate who'd been asked uh, because they 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 didn't want that you know they, they couldn't you know they, they they really were extreme extenuating circumstances. Mm -hmm. So after the first. First one, you know, we spent a lot of time reevaluating, going over the, 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 the conference itself, looking and so that we put together, you know, Jane um, edited and put together all the footage that we'd gotten from that, which was enormous. Um, and so now uh, we have we have a visual documentation. We also have do, we also do, do archives, which I think is really I'm very very excited about the archives. The archives then what what it does with the archives is that we have con conversations with 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 women writers who um, and, and, and scholars who where we can show. We can show for, 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 for those who just want to see that there, that there really are um, African American women who are African women who are doing significant things, and also for those people who may be interested in in, in scholarship, uh, looking at um, looking for, for 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 research projects. You know, um, I, I I always tell students that. You know, you you create the niche, you create the need, and so as you do that, 
you 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 want to make you want to make people choose a, 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 an African woman as a subject of a thesis. Why not? There should be theses on 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 Octavia Butler, just as there are theses on 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 Zora Neale Hurston. There should be theses on Angela Davis, but there should also be theses on 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 people like. Uh, uh, Esther Jackson, Co Esther Cooper Jackson. I mean, she is just my model. I yeah, mean, that's my mother. That's I want to be like that when I grow up. Yeah. What does um, it feel like for you to be in the presence of so many amazingly creative um, and important? It's very. Um, sometimes it's almost overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. um, when when you come away, what I have found though is that when you come away from it and two or three weeks or two or three months afterwards and you really just think about it outside of the, the excitement, the energy of that moment mm -hmm. and now you're just reflecting how extraordinarily ordinary it is. I mean it's so normal. It's not mm -hmm. paranormal. It's, it's normal. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I want it to be so normal that people think about African women who are writers, who are creative people, who are scholars. It should be normal. And I think when we get caught up in that energy and we spectacularize them, we make we, we sort of make them different in a in a in a in a in a distant way. And, and, and these women are, are not like that. They want to be read, they want to be embraced, they want to be they want to be appreciated for their work. But but but, but other than that they eat, they sleep, they breathe like 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 all of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and so in the exchange you find you find that, you know, you may have been born on the same day or you may you know, you have similarities. For example, um, I um, when I met I, I, I met uh, Lucille Clifton many many years ago. But in the course of listening to her read, she read this poem about called straight ahead, okay? That's her Dahomey, you know. The, uh, and I and I said what? And she said, yeah, you know, my father traced his ancestry to to, to Dahomey. So after that, we called ourselves the Dahomey Sisters because I was actually born in, in Dahomey, wow. which is now called Benin, which is another political story that I don't <laughs> like. But at any rate, just just in conversation, you know, and someone said, wow, you know Lucille Clifton? Well, she's not, wow, Lucille Clifton. She's my Dahomey sister, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. So, so I find things like that, I find, I find things like that very, uh, very, they're very rewarding and they're very, uh, they're very wonderful in the middle of the night when you when you want to write something but it, it's not coming the way you want it. And you reflect on these women and you think, oh my goodness, you know, I mean, uh, Lucille often talks about, no, 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 it wasn't Lucille, it was, was uh, Gwendolyn Brooks. She talks about the day when she got her, when she got the phone call that she was nominated or had won the, the Nova, right? You know, she, or was it the Pulitzer? Pulitzer. Pulitzer. When she had gotten this notice, she said, she, they, they, they didn't have any lights. And I thought, my God, yeah. that's, that's a, a thing that people need to think about because when people see that you've got the Nobel, everybody would think that, oh, you, you know, you, you, you know, or, if you say, well, I, I went to get cut flowers, you might have gotten those cut flowers with like your next to your last five dollars, which is sometimes what I do. Just because you need those those cut flowers as much as you need some food. But but those are the kinds of things that I think go into being 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 creative and being right. And when you have these opportunities, these conferences really act as opportunities to normalize to normalize the enormity of of of, 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 of women writers of African descent. It's an enormous pool. So for someone to say I'm looking for a black person to read, I'm looking for a black woman to read, I mean it's so there's 
so much out there. And when we have these conferences and we're able to bring it to people free, I think that to me is one of the great contributions that 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 Oa and, and the, the sisters that I work with have been able to do that. So far we've been able to have these conferences and we've, we've beat the pavement and beat the bushes so that we could have the resources to do it for free. And so that people are not are not are not put us put you know they're not they're not excluded because of because of money uh, nor are they included because they can afford it. You know? It's everybody is is, is everybody everybody can 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 drink and can eat of this of this. Uh, but I think our archives are, are some of our uh, the kinds of aside things we do a lot of um, literary programs. Um, we had a uh, we had a little program here at NYU uh, uh, about Somali Somali storytellers. That that something that I've been involved with, uh, with, and we brought three of the women here. I mean, just little things like that. And now with this conference coming up, you know, we really, really hope that we'll be able to be successful in our fundraising efforts because, again, we want to have it for free and we want to uh, be able to take a lot of people, you know, and, and the more, of course, the more we take, the, 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 the more, the, 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 the less it will cost everyone. But we realize that, you know, it's important for, for, for us to to go to Africa and rather than always African women having Coming to come to out of, the, of, of, of Africa as, as if, I mean many of them write their stories there so why can't we go there? Mm -hmm. So I think it's important for us to go. It's a tremendous statement mm -hmm. and I'm very happy of course that it's in Ghana because it's a country of my great grandmother. Oh. I mean so, but, 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 but aside from that I, I just think it's important for, for, for for, for people to, to go and to see the terrain, to see the landscape, where the stories germinate, where they come from, what it smells like, what, what, what it means when you read something now and you talk about a baobab tree or you talk about dust, you know what it looks like when dust rises. You know what, what roadside smells like when, when, when sisters are, are cooking a, a plantain or whatever on the side of the road. You know, th th that's I think that that enhances the literature, and I, and 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 I think it's for Owa to be involved with this. I think is in, in, I think is enormous. But but I think at this moment, one of the great contributions I think we are making now is that we're bringing along a younger group of women, yourself and and, and, and Rosa and, and Jaira and others. This is very important because. All of us are way over sixty, and, and 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 yes, it's not it's not about number, but on the other hand, it is about number, because so often when people organize something, they they don't always plan for the for the continuity of it. Although they claim continue. that they want it to last, mm -hmm. but what they mean is it lasts as long as they last. And so knowing when to when to let something go, when to when to know that this is that this is now the time so that so that so that you come with your youthful energy and you and, and, and your and your skills. But you also know what our philosophy is, so that so that that does continue. The notion of having the conference and, 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 and to fundraise so that it can be as as, as inexpensive or free if as, as, as if possible. That's very important to to the mission of, of Oa to make these women writers available mm -hmm. to 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 have to have young women see other older women 
who have gone through paces, who have gone through the things that they may be going through at that time. And to see that, that yes, maybe you write three books, maybe you don't write ten or twelve books, but that's all right. Because to do those three books, you've done other things as well. So and that's important. The and, and, uh, and, and, and so I'm really happy with the way in which OA as an organization is progressing. I think it's very important to, to have the kind of young women who also have a sense of politics, who also have a sense of continuity, who also want to see things um, go go along, you know. That's that's very important. So we're very happy, you know, to have to have to have this. And, uh, yeah, we think that you know it can only so maybe after the 12, 2013, maybe 2015, 2016, it will be you and and, and and the younger members who will come. We, we, we didn't want to have an association. We decided that sometimes, five, yes, it's a lot of work, but sometimes three to five women can do more things than, than 10 or 20 because you then have too many possibilities of dissent. Hard to build consensus. And, yeah. and so you, in order to, to do something, you, you need effective hands. Okay. Thank you very much. This has Thank been fantastic.